Hi, I'm Beth with TB Properties Bias Land, and today I'm going to address a question that we get from time to time, which is, what exactly is a cash transaction when I'm trying to sell my rural vacant land? So before I address that question today, I thought I would just take a step back and and you know present why people are asking that question. So maybe um, if you got on Google and you're trying to figure out how do I sell my rural vacant land, how do I sell my land, how do I sell my inherited land, whatever it is that you're searching for, or maybe you even got a letter in the mail saying that someone's willing to buy your land uh, for cash. So what does that mean? Does that mean that you know you're going to meet up and and shake hands and someone's going to have a bag of cash? Um, I know you're not thinking that, but you're asking what does that mean in terms of cash? Um, are you getting like a, a personal check? What kind of safety measures are in place to make sure that you aren't swindled, that everything is is on the up and up? So um, when TB Properties buys land, uh, when, when we state on our website that we are going to pay uh, cash for your rural vacant land, um, what we mean by cash is that you're going to get funds that are available right away. So today, cash can mean you know bundles of hundred dollar bills, um, but it can also mean uh, a cashier's check, you know, like a bank check that's certified funds that are available. You don't have to worry about those funds, the, the check bouncing or anything like that. Um, you're getting cash that's available, it's certified, um, and you don't have to wait on a loan. So a lot of times when people are trying to buy a house or they're they're buying land, uh, they might need a loan for that, especially if you're listing this on the MLS. Um, you list on the MLS, you're looking for top dollar, but these people may not have cash to buy that land from you. So they've got to go and apply for a bank loan. And today, especially in COVID times and even before then, trying to get a loan from a bank for dirt, you know, your, your vacant land, it's hard. You know, with a home, if somebody doesn't, doesn't pay their bills, that bank can take that, that home back and they can resell it. It's easy for them. They've got an appraiser out there. For land, it's, it's different. They don't really know, um, you know, what they're lending money on. And so a lot of banks will just say no to lending on, on vacant land. So those people who are buying your property have fewer resources in which to find funds in order to buy your property. Um, so if someone's paying in cash, that's great because it can close faster. Title companies don't need to wait on the lender. They don't need to wait on appraisers um, and that sort of thing. They can close as fast, some areas as fast as two weeks. Some are a little bit slower in terms of the title companies, three, four weeks, that kind of thing. But if you're looking, if you're, if you're needing a lender, the very fastest you're going to be able to close is 30 days. And, and today, uh, what we're seeing is someone needs a lender, we're looking more like 60 to 90 days. Okay, that's if that lender does lend and things go through. So this is a long explanation to a short little question. And that question is, what does it mean when I'm selling my, my rural vacant land for cash? Okay, and the answer to that is cash is gonna be money that is available quickly. Okay, so that's going to be a cashier's check. It's gonna be wired funds. And the way that we work at TB Properties Buys Land is that we sell, we sell through, I'm sorry, we sell, we buy through a title company. And in doing so, um, funds are guaranteed on both sides. So we send our, our cash to the title company. Uh, they, they have those certified funds and they release those to you as the seller once all the paperwork is signed and everything goes through. So it means a safe transaction for both parties. Uh, it means that you as the seller get cash quickly you're not waiting on a lender. You're not waiting on the MLS for three, six, nine, 12, 18 months. Um, and it means that you don't have to wait on a lender and appraiser and then, you know, cross your fingers that that actually goes through and they don't have to, to look for more, you know, for a new lender. Uh, I hope this answered your questions and uh, I, look, I, look, I appreciate you listening to us. And if you have any questions, please check us out on our website, tbpropertiesbuysland.com. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.